subscribe my channel p sarala hit the bell icon so that you are notified every time i post a new lesson welcome to another class of locomotion so we study about that muscles contains myofilaments which contains sarcomere which is the structural and functional unit of contraction sarcomere contains thick filaments and thin filaments so thick filaments contains myosin myosin protein and thin filaments contains actin protein so these are the two structural proteins which are useful for contraction so let us study the structure of actin protein so the actin or the thin filament consists of three types of proteins so it contains two filaments of f actin two filaments of f actin and each f actin molecule contains numerous globular molecules g means globular so g means globular so f filament so actin contains thin filament contains two f filaments uh, which are helically bound to each other so this is helically bound at the pink ones so each f actin is made up of uh, numerous uh, globe globular molecules so these are the globular molecules the round pink ones are globular molecules so these globular molecules contains uh, active sites so these are the active sites these active sites bind to the myosin actin binding site of myosin so these are the active sites present on the actin so these sites bind to the myosin filament so next uh, another protein is present uh, in actin or thin filament that is uh, two filamentous tropomyosin tropomyosin molecules so these tropomyosin molecules run very close to the f molecules so these are the f actin molecules and the green one is a tropomyosin they run very close to the f filaments and they close or block the active sites present on the globular molecules so these are the active sites and this tropomyosin the green color one blocks the active sites so another complex protein is present in thin filament which is known as troponin troponin contains the three types of molecules troponin c troponin c and troponin i troponin i troponin c troponin t so these are the three molecules which are present in the troponin so troponin t attaches to the tropomyosin closely so these the troponin closely attached to the tropomyosin so they are present at regular intervals on the tropomyosin so here troponin here troponin here another troponin molecule so these are regularly arranged on the tropomyosin molecule so these troponin and tropomyosin together are known as inhibitory proteins because they block and unblock or they mask or unmask the active sites on the f filament so when troponin c binds to the calcium ions when troponin c binds to the calcium ions then uh, troponin t pulls the tropomyosin away from the active sites so when calcium ions bind to the troponin c molecule then only troponin t pulls the tropomyosin towards so here so so this is a tropo troponin c molecule when it attaches to the calcium ions it pulls the tropomyosin away from the active sites of the f filament so here active sites are exposed here also active sites are exposed so this is the first step of contraction so calcium ions are released into the sarcoplasm then the calcium ions attach or attach to the troponin c molecule they bind to the troponin c molecule and that troponin c molecule pulls the 
tropomyosin filament away from the active sites of the F filament. So, the active sites are exposed. Now, these active sites are ready to bind to the active sites on the myosin. Okay. So, this is very important. If calcium ions are not present in the sarcoplasm and they are not attached to the, the troposin C molecule, then troponin I. So, here there is a small molecule troponin I. Troponin I makes the troponin T in its blocking position, blocking the tropomyosin. Okay. So, that is why troponin and tropomyosin together are known as inhibitory proteins, though they inhibit the active sites from the exposure. Only when calcium ions are released, then only troponin pulls the tropomyosin away from the active sites and the active sites are ready to bond with the active binding site on the myosin. So, this is about the structure of a actin molecule. So, next coming to structure of a myosin. So, myosin is a thick filament. So, myosin contains a, it is a polymerized polymerized protein it contains numerous 200 to 300 meromyosin molecules forms one thick myosin filament so this is very important 200 to 300 meromyosin molecules together form one myosin filament so these 200 to 300 meromyosin molecule structure is like this so it contains a globular head region and a short neck region and a long tail region. So, this is the tail region, this is the neck region and this is the head region. So, the head region contains two sites, actin binding site and the ATP binding site. So, actin binding site which attaches to the active site. So, here are the active sites. So, these are the active sites on the actin molecules. So, these active sites are attached to the actin binding site of the myosin. So, next uh, another site is present which is known as ATP binding site. So, here ATP molecules bind to the myosin. Okay. So, so, myosin is a motor protein. So, it converts the chemical energy into mechanical energy. That is why myosin is also known as motor protein. So, here the actin which is attached to the head of the myosin is converted into ADP and phosphorus PI. So, and liberates the energy. So, this energy is useful to pull the actin molecules towards the A band, towards the in, inside of the a band. So, that is why myosin is known as a motor protein because it converts chemical energy into mechanical energy. Next, so half of the meromyosin molecules, we know that 200 to 300 meromyosin molecules are present. Uh, of these 300 to 200 to 300, if we consider as a 200, then 100 phase to one jet line and remaining 100 phase towards the Another Z line, sarcomeres contains two Z lines on either side of the A band. So, half of the heads, half of the myosin heads oriented towards one Z line and remaining half of the heads oriented towards another Z line. So, this is because this peculiar arrangement is because it Due to this arrangement, the actin molecules which are present on either side of the A band are pulled inside the A band and result in contraction of the muscle. Okay. Next, so the head region and the short neck region together known as a cross arm. So, this is the head region and this is the neck region or the short arm. So, these together known as cross arm. So, these cross arms project from the at regular intervals, they project from the myosin filaments uh, at regular intervals. So, these are helpful to form the cross bridges 
during contraction during the contraction so these cross arms form the cross bridges so this is about the structure of a myosin